ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all shapes, sizes, races, light, dark affiliation, whatever you want to call it, welcome to Chow Karate! Bum, bum, bum! You guys want to deal with your anger issues? You guys want to show your little brother that you're better than him? You are the little brother and you want to show your big brother that he can suck your big fat toe because your Chow is a better fighter than his. Everyone, welcome to the way that I dealt with all of my issues back in middle school. I would challenge my friends to Chow Karate. Guys, welcome to Chow Karate the episode, but everyone, hello guys. How you doing? Welcome to Chow Karate the episode. <laughs> oh jeez. But guys, today I want to go ahead and start out by going down to the Dark Garden. And the reason why is because I talked about this in the last episode with the whole entire Chow Racing. We're going to go ahead and dig. And now that we have Rouge with her pick toe boots, there it is. Everyone, say hello to the Dark Garden hidden hat, the Skull. So obviously, like I said before, and I'll just remind you, you have the pumpkin that can be acquired through either the hero garden or the chow garden. But then you have the skull, which can only be gotten through the whole entire uh, dark garden digging aspect. So keep that in mind if you want it. It's yours. Keep it in mind. Use it as you will. But guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and get down to it. Everyone, it's time. Chow Kurate. So there is so much to talk about with chow karate. Like obviously, you know. You have the stats and whatnot from the whole entire running and racing and swimming and all that crap. I mean, you can see your stats, plain and simple. But Chow Karate is a lot more under the table. It doesn't tell you what to do, which I know sounds really weird. But it's going to... You're going to have to just really pay attention to your stats if you really want to learn on your own. But obviously, you guys know me. I'm going to teach you everything. So... Here's the basic concept of Chow Karate. You can just see I just one-shot that poor Chow. Jeez. No. Anyway, guys, there you go. You're fighting your Chows, and you can make them verse each other. It's kind of a cool way to see which Chow is supreme, basically. But you guys can see up there in the top left-hand corner, right underneath my health, you guys can see that there are little Chow head bubble pieces, right? Well, those little Chow bubble head pieces are your wins. If you get all the wins, you win that tournament bracket. In this case, we are on the beginner's bracket, so, you know, they're pretty easy. I'm one-shotting them all. Why would I worry? I have no reason to, right? On the bottom, you guys are going to see Zeal. Zeal is basically your stamina from the races. We know whenever you ran out of stamina, you were screwed. Well, in this case, Zeal is your stamina, and your stamina is how fast you're going to attack, how long you're going to be able to keep going, all that fun stuff. But... Then you have your stats. Obviously, like I said, I built myself to be a power chow. The power chow is what you want in this. I mean, it's your strength, right? It's like, ooh, strong, brah, punch him in the face. Like, it's one of those things, right? Well, yes and no. Your other stats actually kind of tie into it, which I know sounds crazy, but each stat has its own thing, which is weird, but... It's actually got its own advantage, and you need to kind of put up all your stats if you want a guaranteed win. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and finish off the bracket right here with Happy. So, I want to point this out, too. Happy had a little dance right there. You guys saw a little dance? Well, a little dance is actually something you learn in the Chow Kindergarten. If you guys want that dance, keep that in mind. It is something, again, you have to take your Chow three times to teach him a thing. But it's there. Use it as you will. But just like that, everyone, as simple as that was, we just won the beginner's bracket it's like what that's insane right no but straight up we just did it and we got the emblem like i told you in the races when you get an emblem you're done with that whole bracket we completed it and that's it chow karate is way easier because there's not as much involved but there you go everyone one down two to go so back to the tournament tournament time we are going to dun 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 my little dark guy, because he is going to go into the standard now. Let's go, buddy. You and me. Let's do the do. Da dong. Also, it's kind of cool, too. If you guys ever wonder what your chow can and cannot wear, I mean, Apple was wearing a gigantic apple. In this case, Lucky, he's wearing a paper bag. You know those whole entire hats I talked about in the black market? Well, here are all of them, I'm pretty sure. Every single one you can see right here. It's kind of cool. 
But anyway, let's go ahead now and talk about stats since obviously I literally can't do anything here while they fight. So, let's go ahead and talk about what each thing does. Swimming. Alright, swimming in my own personal opinion, I told you guys it's one of the most important things of the races besides running obviously because it's a race. But swimming is very important because it's your defense. It increases how much damage or not how much damage it'll decrease how much damage there you go it's going to decrease how much damage you receive and let me tell you some of these guys later on oh boy they hit you hard and to, i mean look at this i got hit once and my health like didn't move basically it's kind of amazing and also i'm going to point this out too you guys might notice whenever oh geez i threw him out good lord but no, you guys might have noticed whenever I miss an attack, my zeal just dropped like a rock. That's a normal thing. Don't feel bad. You're like, oh, geez, my zeal's going down. Don't feel bad. If your zeal ever goes out, you're just kind of stunned temporarily, and you just got to tap A a couple times to wake back up. It's not that bad. You're just kind of meditating. But uh, when we get there, I'll go ahead and show it off. Good lord, dude. Holy crap, Stormy. I feel sorry for you. Jeez. I just... I got little pig feet that I just kicked them with right across the face. Just, here's my pig feet. How about you come after me? And obviously, you know, I have my little, my little flippers. I'm just going to go, oh, geez, here we go. Flipper slap. It's like the map slap. You guys ever see that? The whole entire tournament that they had with Minecraft with the, um, the, okay. So for those of you guys that don't, let me just explain it. There was like a little mini stream that Microsoft did for Minecraft. And uh, it was for Hunger Games. And what they did was the guy had only one hit left on him. And you know with the Hunger Games originally in the Minecraft, they would give you random chests. Well, the guy found a map. And he's like, you know what? I'm going to give him the ultimate disgrace. I'm going to use a map and slap him in the face and kill him. And so it became like known as the map slap. The most like hated attack. But yeah, anyway, going on. Sorry. Um, flying. So flying is interesting. So doesn't really help a whole lot because you don't really see it until later on it's like these whole entire beginning things meh but flying is interesting it's your stealth or your dodging or your speed or i don't know like there's so many different ways that you can say i guess agility even is another way that people like to refer to it as but basically it's how often you're going to dodge so keep that in mind flying is kind of important you're going to be able to dodge every five seconds depending on how high your flying is but then we have running. Running is, I guess this is kind of your speed. So you guys notice how fast I attack? Well, that's because my run stat is so high. I mean, look at that. The guy didn't even have a chance to come after me and my run stat was already there. So keep that in mind if you guys really want that. Get your run stat up and you're good to go. Your power. Okay, power is the most important thing for Chao Karate. Power is how you attack. First off, you're gonna go ahead and like, I think the first one's like you crawl up to the guy. And when you crawl up to him, you just like slap him a little bit. The second one is a spinning kick, which you guys have seen. And then the third one, which is the strongest one, is the whole entire roundup where you'd use your hand. So that's a little spinning kick. You guys just saw that. That was kind of cool. But then the little, like the map slap, basically, the little fin slap that I do, that is the strongest attack in the whole game. You get a little wind up and then qua pow right in the face. Um, your stamina, which is all your food and whatnot, that is your health. And obviously, you guys know what the health is at the very top of the screen. Go ahead and see that as you see fit. Um, intelligence. Okay. So remember the whole entire hidden stats I talked about before? Intelligence and your luck. So intelligence is how fast your zeal will go down. So the higher your intelligence, the less it's going to go down. The lower your intelligence, the faster it's going to go down. So you need to keep that in mind. Get your intelligence up. I know it's kind of a hidden stat, so you really don't know. But again, go use the jerk in the box. You already have it from the chow races. Use that to your advantage to find out what is worth your time because maybe it's what you need. Or maybe you just don't care and you just want to go in blind. That's fine too. Then finally you have luck. Now whenever, oh geez, that is a Sonic Chow if I've ever seen one and he's mad. He is a mad boy. Jeez. No, so anyway, if you're ever wondering like, okay, I have this luck stat now. What am I going to do with luck? Well, luck's interesting because luck is how fast you can recover. So whenever you recover... You are only able to go up so fast. Like, you're going to hear horns and stuff in the background. It's like... It's like all kinds of like drums and horns in the background. Well, if you have a higher luck status, you don't have to, like, cheer him on for so long. It'll just instantly come back up. 
So again, you want to test your luck. Go ahead and go to the jerk in the box. How often is the jerk going to pop? How often is there not going to be a jack? Keep that in mind. That's all you need. But finally, we're going to go back in the Chow Karate. I know, we're already going back for a fourth time. Here's the thing, guys. We are here at Chow Karate now. We've done all three. What else could there possibly be? Well, believe it or not, there is a super course because, you know, there's always one more. I mean, come on, guys. You know how this is at this point. There's always got to be one more, right? So super only unlocks when you beat everything. But this is like the most elite. This is the head of the class, top of the top. Nothing's better than these guys. Well, here we go, guys. Starting with Crunch. Unfortunately, their stats are like kind of fixed. So they are going to be very difficult. I mean, it is the super course. But as long as you guys have high stats, you're going to be fine. So let's go ahead now while we fight these guys. Let's talk about the ways that you're going to win this. So obviously, you know, like Mortal Kombat or like Street of or Street Fighters or Streets of Rage or I can just literally name off a million fighting games. Tekken or Soul Calibur or whatever you want to say. Obviously, you get down all their health. You win. Good for you. Or you guys can go ahead and ring out. So you guys notice how whenever I've punched people, they've like kind of gone out of the ring. Well, if they still have health and you ring them out, you automatically get the win there. The way that you can really push them back like I am right now is get your power up. Trust me. You get your power up. Oh, there we go. Perfect. I just ringed him out. Oh, never mind. I already... Dang. Okay. Well, that's disappointing. But you can ring him out. I was kind of hoping I just did ring him out, but I didn't. So, ring... Ooh. Gold Hero Chow Chow. That's amazing. That's a gold chaos chow. That's beautiful. No, but anyway, uh, Crystal, I love you, and you are absolutely amazing. You are beautiful. Love you. Oh, dang, I was hoping. Come on, come on, push her back, push her back. Oof. Dodger, Dodger, yeah. Now push her back, push her out, ring her out, ring her out. I did ring her out. I did ring her out. She went flying back. I love it. No, but uh, so that's the second way. You can ring her out, or third... And this one's kind of the hardest one. Whoa! It's a blue... It's... Whoa! Wow. It is a sapphire... Chouse Dark Chow. That's amazing. Or not a sapphire. Well, I guess it could be a sapphire. It could be sapphire, or it can be an aquamarine. I think it is supposed to be an aquamarine, though. That's amazing. Beautiful. Like, actually beautiful. I'd love to see, like, a... Uh, like a aquamarine sonic chow i think that that'd be really cool no anyway um this is the last one the onyx the onyx normal chow's chow i can't believe how fast i ran through these no i'm sorry but the third and final way and probably the hardest way to win is ring out or not ring out sorry uh run out the timer so you guys see how the timer at the very top of the screen, the timer is very interesting because it is how long the match is. Now, hey, I ringed him out, perfect. What a way to end it. Perfect, dude, I just ringed it out at the very end. I love it. There we go, guys. So Flash, you suck. I ringed you out and I am the ween. I'm glad the very last thing too, I ringed it out. No, but for time, it's kind of hard. If you have the most health by the time that time ticks down, then you win. Or if you have the least health, then you lose. So there's no draws. It's just you win or you lose. But everyone, just like that, we've done it. I was not expecting to go that fast, to be completely honest. But uh, now that we're here, where is our dark guy? Here we go. Little dark guy, I need you. Come here, little buddy. So you guys might notice, we got medals for the races. You guys know that. They would just appear randomly. But unfortunately, Chow Karate, you don't get medals. However, you do get a title which is kind of cool i probably could have showed this off before but i didn't uh after each and every kill that you get in the karate have it be the very first guy the second guy third guy fourth guy or the final you're going to get a new ranking so if you come over here oh i i want the medical chart not the how are you doing okay you know what i need to stop spamming there we go medical chart so come over here to your rewards right uh where is it at right there Okay, so karate, 20 wins, zero losses, zero draws, blah, blah, blah. Rank, Grand Master. So, if I remember correctly, it's like Q, I think, is the first one. And you get that all the way up until I think it's Expert. And then it's like you get your degrees, like uh, first degree black belt, second degree black belt, etc. 
So you get your degree, and then after degree, you get Grandmaster. So those are your three rankings. Again, they vary. I don't remember who you have to beat to get all those things, but I do know that if you win, let's say, the first three, but you lose the fourth, you still get that ranking associated with that piece. So if like, you lost on Expert, it would be... I said you lost on the fourth, so it would be like degree three. Or in the case of you winning for four of the five on uh, beginner, maybe you're going to come out as like Q, I don't know, six, seven, eight, I don't know, whichever the number is. But bottom line, if you guys want those titles, you can do it with any chow. It'd be kind of cool. It's just really up to what you think is best. But what I wanted to do is now that I've got my power guy, Again, you guys saw how fast I ripped through them. I mean, I built this Chow for power. I made him a power Chow, so I knew he would be stupidly strong. What I wanted to do here, because I knew this episode would be a really quick one, I actually wanted to go ahead and put in my hero, too, because I wanted to see how well he survives in the expert course. I know he's going to win because his stats are super high, but I wanted to see how well he will do in comparison. So let's go ahead and go back to Karate here, and we're going to see... Are we going to get a kill? Are we going to ring out? Or what are we going to do with our little hero guy here? Sir, I know you don't like violence. Wait, what? I... Really? I thought that you got super unlocked for everyone. I guess not. Well, that's disappointing. I was hoping to show that off, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, well, it's fine. Either way, guys, there is that now. I was not actually aware of that. The fact that you have to do it for each and every chow. So that's kind of interesting. But everyone, chow karate is probably the easiest thing to do. It's a little time consuming if you don't raise your chow all the way like I did. I mean, we ran through it really fast. But guys, everyone, thank you so much for coming out, guys. I know this is a little bit of a shorter episode, but it is kind of important still. Everyone, welcome to Chow the Episode Part 2. Guys, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for coming. And until next time, there is still more to do for our bonus episode. So I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everyone. See you soon.